Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be probably the most anticipated Sensi haul of all time. Today, when I'm filming this, is September 19th. And why I say this is super anticipated is because I placed this order when the clock struck 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on September 1st for the Sensi Harvest Collection goodies. Now, if you know Sensi, Sensi knocks it out of the park every year with the Harvest Collection. The Holiday Collection is pretty bomb too, but the Harvest Collection, Sensi does it and they do it well. So I placed this order on September 1st and I just got it today, which the first was a Friday that Monday the 4th was Labor Day, so orders didn't start to process in the system until the 5th, and they said they would ship in 7 to 10 business days. Mine shipped on the 8th business day, and it arrived super quickly. And I was, it actually was supposed to deliver tomorrow, but I got it a day early, which I'm super excited. I'm literally surrounded by warmers. I have a box of wax. Lots of goodies, as well as some early access, which I'm going to briefly touch on some things that I got to order early, consultant perks, for a, an October 1st launch. But I have my laptop here with the Harvest Catalog brochure so we can go through them. Now, I didn't pick up any wax from the Harvest Collection, um, like the bundles, but I did order some single bars that I wanted more of separately. But... Let's dive into the warmers first. So first, I picked up the Retro White Pumpkin Truck. So can you see that there? I was so excited for this guy. Now this guy is $60, and you can purchase the lid separately for only $25. And I believe at Christmas, they're going to have a truck with a Christmas lid, so you only have to purchase the trees themselves separately and oh, I'm so excited the truck theme is so fun to me and it's just it's very country it fits the fall vibe and I knew I needed to have this now I believe this like sold out super quickly at first and then it did go back into stock so it is back in stock now almost everything is in stock now except for the fragrance flowers which we will talk about. But anyway, so that's the box. I love saving Scentsy boxes. They store them so easily. You have a picture on both sides, so that way you're easily able to identify what warmers they are. And I do keep all the boxes to store my Scentsy goodies. Now, let's take a look at the truck. All right, so take a look, guys. So we have the white truck. We have the tires there the window here. <gasps> this is so cute, you guys. And then as you see, the lid here are the little pumpkins. And there are holes cut out in the lid to allow for the fragrance to come through. And then you stick your cubes of wax in here. This is a very small dish, you guys. I would probably only do one, maybe two cubes, if that. And what's really cool about this one are a few things. One, it is an element warmer, so it actually doesn't light up with a traditional light bulb. It uses a heating element to light your wax. But the headlights on the truck, as well as the brake lights, light up. Typically, with element warmers, I'm used to, like, one red identifying light, indicator light, to tell you what's on. But there's actually two to make it look like um, brake lights. This is super cute. I can't wait. This is so cute. Now, I will be honest... I don't love the spare tiger on this side. I actually prefer the look of the truck on this side. So to be honest, I'm probably going to display it on that side, but really super cute. And again, this guy is $60. The lid itself is $25, which actually seems really expensive for just this little ceramic dish. $25. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. But anyway, um, yeah, otherwise, but... Um, I believe the Christmas trees are coming for holiday. So really, really excited for that guy. Now, moving on, 
we have the Harvest Bounty Warmer. Now, I'm such a sucker for the Scentsy Pumpkin Warmers, so as soon as I saw this was coming out, it had to come home with me. So we have the instructions there. We have that there. This is also an Element Warmer, but what sets this warmer apart is, look at the detail. Oh, let me put, let me get the lid here. So this is an element warmer. Now you will see there's little notches. There's a little notch right here and a little notch right there. So you line up the notches, boom, and you have your sweater pumpkin warmer there. You have the holes on the top to allow for the scent and you have the one indicator light. How cute is this? I love how short and stubby this is. This would be super cute for like a um, bedroom because if you don't want light but you still want scent, you could add your cubes of wax there and then there is no light there to disturb you when you sleep because I also don't like light when I sleep. So this is super cute. I love the little pumpkin. Oh, so cute. Listen, I am a sucker for all of the fall goodies. All right, so next we have, I'm trying to find all the spots. <sighs> this guy, this is also part of the Harvest Collection, but it's more Halloween. It's called Let's Get Batty. And the trend of like the Halloween bats on the walls is super fun. I got a bat throw pillow. Oh, by the way, the Harvest Bounty Warmer is $50. All right. So this guy, the Let's Get Batty, one, I already know it's going to be an incredible performer because it is a 25-watt light plate, hot, 25-watt light bulb warmer with a, um, oh man, I'm just going to slowly take that off, with a um, ceramic warmer. So ceramic warmers tend to get hotter than regular warmers. And then the glass ones, we have a big dish with the number four on the bottom there. So it says, don't go over four cubes. And we'll drop that in there. <gasps> if you're familiar with like the Be Kind warmer, it's the same silhouette, but oh, we have an upside down bat. Let me just turn him right side up. Look at how cute that is. But I got a bat table runner and a bat um, throw rug or throw rug, throw pillow, throw blanket and throw pillows, and then I got the paper bats to put on the wall, and I think this is going to look so cute. We have the holes cut out on the back that will release the light, but I love the little bats, and they're kind of like metal. Like, they're not, like, just glued on there. They're actually, like, stuck on there, so really, really cute. This is going to look so cool at night, and then there's the little little notch there so you can stick your warmer cord here so it sits nice and flat for you again so cute i can't get enough i'm gonna gonna put the light bulb in here i'm not gonna turn them on i don't have an extension cord or anything here but this is just gonna be a very casual like haul with me video so i hope you enjoy those type of videos so i am just gonna put the light bulb in because these are definitely going up i'm gonna have such a hard time putting these, like, not all the Halloween ones out yet because I'm still in my fall decor, but I love the Halloween warmers. So we have that guy there. Then we have, oh my God, so many warmers. That's what I'm most excited about. Oh, and Let's Get Batty is also, I'm looking right here. Yeah, $50. All right, next, witch -O lantern I can't believe this hasn't sold out. I really can't. Now, I actually got one of these in the mail for a customer, and I wanted to take it out to send her a picture, and I was trying to put it together, and I'm like, this is odd. Why is this not working? Well, there's a perfectly good reason why it wasn't working, and I will explain that to you so you don't make the same mistake. All right, so we have the dish in here, which I'm going to show you, okay? Now... Maybe you guys will figure it out, but at first glance, I definitely did not notice myself. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, hers did not look that way. Okay, so we have the Witcho Lantern Warmer here. One, look at the iridescent pumpkins, and this is a heavy warmer, you guys. It is glass, but it's an orange iridescent warmer. It's a 25-watt 
light bulb warmer. You have your big circle glass dish that holds four cubes of wax. And then you have your little metal hat. Now you see these prongs right there, okay? These guys. Okay, it doesn't really sit, right? It doesn't really sit on the warmer. Like it looks crooked, okay? It doesn't sit. You have to take these metal prongs and you have to bend them inwards. So it looks like this to sit on your dish. It's not really in the description that way. I didn't realize that before I got the warmer, but yeah. So it has to sit like that for the lid to actually sit on top. But look how cute. I'm obsessed. I love. This is so cute. The two pumpkins stacked together. I mean, it just screams Halloween. So really excited. And again, the glass does have a notch there. So you can stick your warmer there. All right. Now, it would not be a Scentsy Halloween haul without the Disney pumpkin warmer. For one, can we just talk about the box? Look at this box, okay? Obsessed. 360 degrees, beautiful warmer. Look at this. Look at that, look at that Mickey face. <gasps> so cute. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see this warmer in person. A couple people were already getting it in and I was super jealous. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Super cute. All right, so here's your light bulb. Now there's an extra piece to this warmer that I want everybody to notice. Now, okay, so there's the bag. All right, so you have all your bags here. Now you will notice, okay, do you see right here the eye, eyelids or the eyes? You see how there's like a space so you can see my back wall? There's actually, you can see it really good here. There's actually a film insert in this warmer. It's something new that Sensi is doing with their warmers to hide the light bulb and give you this whole glow. The Disney Villains warmer that just launched this morning, the Poison Apple also has this insert, but just lift it up. Let me see here. So you just want to move it upwards a little bit. This is a really, in this is really interesting. Um, yeah, because like, okay. So all you have to do is just pull it up. In shipping, it slides down. But you just have to pull. It's not paper. It's kind of like a um, coated plastic, thin, like vinyl coating. You just have to pull it up a little bit. There we go. So that way you can see the full eyes. And then the whole entire warmer will glow yellow, which is so cool. And then here you have the dish. This is a very unique dish, you guys. I highly recommend picking up a second one of these dishes because if this breaks, you can't just replace it with like any other normal circle dish. It's a very unique dish. So I would suggest picking up a separate dish, but look at this. <gasps> look at the detail. Now, if you're not familiar with the Mickey Mouse, the not so scary Halloween party from Disney World, they do a Disney like a Halloween display. And this is what you see when you first walk into Disney. The Mickey Mouse jack-o'-lantern with the Mickey ears and this warmer. You can even see like the texture of the pumpkin. This is so adorable. And as I'm filming this video, it is still available, you guys. It is $75. It's beautiful. I mean, it is perfect. It is totally Halloween and totally fun and festive. And then... That is all of the warmers that I got from the Harvest Collection. But I did pick up a warmer from the regular catalog that I'm super excited about. I could not wait for this warmer. It's on the front of the catalog. Spoiler. You probably already know what it is. It's called Forest Light. Okay. I love lanterns. And I love our lantern warmers. They just feel so cozy and calm. And when I saw this warmer, I had to have it. Now, this warmer says, I'm just going to read what the little blurb that it said. Oh, it doesn't have a blurb. Never mind. Where is the, 
Is it in like its own little section here? It's a very casual video, you guys. I'm just like chilling, looking. Okay, so Forest Light is $65. All right, so we have a dish. Now, everybody's saying this, and I say same thing, right? It is a different square dish than you're used to. It's actually a little bit deeper and not as perfectly square as the other dishes, but it still holds four warmers, or four warmers, four cubes. Now, I thought at first this was a square warmer, but it is actually rectangular. This is so great. This is going to be a gorgeous fall warmer. Gorgeous. Gorgeous at night. Gorgeous lit up. Oh my gosh. And it's metal, so it's going to be a really great performer. It's going to really hold in the heat. Pop this in here like this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I have to, I have to get this all situated. Yeah, this, this is definitely not going back in the box. It's too big not to. All right, let's grab our light bulb. It's just a 25 watt clear bulb. Boom, boom. Oh, there's silica packets in here, hold on. Let me remove the silica packets. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Screw the light bulb in here. This would be so cute with other light bulbs too. It says fabulous dappled light pours out from every facet. Drop the dish in here. Drop the lid in there. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how cozy, comforting this looks. This is so cute, you guys. There we go. This is so cute. 360 degrees, so cute. And you're gonna get tons of ventilation, so great scent throw. There's a little notch there for the, for the cord cutout. This is so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh. I lo love this warmer. It is so pretty. <gasps> Obsessed. So that is the Forest Light Warmer. This is a permanent item in the Fall and Winter catalog, so don't feel like you have to rush out to get this one. And if it sells out, it will be restocked. The Harvest Collection, though, is while supplies last. So <gasps> this is so cute. I am going to go and clean up all the plastic and boxes and such, and then we will dive into the wax. Because the video is already super long, I'm just going to briefly talk about the wax that I have because I got quite a bit. The first one that I'm super excited about that I picked up are three bars of Dashing. Now, Dashing is a new release this year, and I love it. It says irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. This is like a creamy, vanilla, just delicious, warm, uh, soft bedroom scent. So really excited for that one. I picked up four of another favorite, Cider Mill. Now this is just like an apple, pumpkin, yummy fragrance. This says, bring together fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices for a cozy autumn treat. Yeah, like a warm, pumpkin-y, apple, yummy fragrance. So excited to have some more of that. I picked up White Amber Antique. I don't remember ever trying this one, if I'm being honest. So I was excited to retry this one. And the description on this one reads, a Lauren Amber Antique flirt with fresh bergamot. Oh yeah, this smells very much like mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works. Very similar. It, a little bit more citrusy than mahogany teakwood is, but it still has that same vein, that warm masculine cologne vibe. So excited for that. That'll be a great bedroom scent. Next, I love this. This is Scarlet Sunflower. I picked up two bars of this guy. Juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. I love this. This is fresh, clean, light floral with a little apple. Mm, love. Love, love, love. I, 
I picked up Cran Apple Crumble. If you remember from last year, I did not love this scent, but Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, who I just adore here on YouTube, she talked about this and she said that after a year, they actually sit and become this really beautiful bar. So yeah, it has that odd smell. Baked Cran Apple topped with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. Yeah, they have that strange note that I just don't care for. And I, ugh, it's definitely an odd note to me, but I'm going to let it sit for a year, like she said, and I'm going to try it next year and see. This is one people rave about, and I never tried it last year. Gimme Candy. I believe this was the scent of the month when the, like, Frankenstein Countdown to Halloween warmer came out, and I don't know. I just never tried it. A sweet confection of caramelized sugar, golden honey, and sweet buttercream make for the ultimate sugar rush. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is yummy. Okay. I enjoy this. This is like a candy cane scent, like a really rich bakery buttercream. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can vibe with this. That's yummy. That's going to be a great Halloween bar. Next, oh, I had this last year and I loved it. And this is Fall Ing Apples. Really, really enjoy this one. And the description on Fall Ling Apples says, Take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. Yeah, this is like a warm, cologne apple fragrance for fall. I will say, if I had a choice between this and Hemingway, I do prefer Hemingway. I just like the vibe of it a little more. But this is really good. And I remember really enjoying this for fall. So, oh, so yummy. Yum. Oh, so excited for fall. Another one that is a staple is cedar cider. And I feel like this year I've really, I've gotten the furniture. I've gotten all the warmer spaces set up really well. So I'm excited to retry all my favorite Scentsy fall scents and ones that I haven't tried that I'm excited to re-sniff and see what I think. All right, so this guy is... An autumn medley of the reddest apples, cinnamon sticks, and vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I love. Yum. This is really good. Yeah, just like a rich cinnamon pine coney type of scent. But not cinnamon pine cones, which we do have in the catalog. Next. Caramel Apple Craze. I love that this is like two-tone. It's the brown and then the red. And this guy is... Creamy Golden Caramel Sweet Red Delicious Apples and a Whipped Vanilla invite you to be a trick-or-treater again. Oh, yes. Sweet Caramel Apples. So good. It is a bestseller. Oh, love this. This is definitely like a Halloween week scent. Like a sweet caramel apple but you really get that whipped vanilla in there. Oh, so good. Next, another Elizabeth from Elizabeth Scenes and Scents recommendation, Maple Apple Bourbon. I don't remember melting this one because I'm not the hugest fan of maple. I know she loves maple. And the description for this one reads, if I can find it. Here we go, it's in the spice category. Juicy red apple and rich maple get into the holiday spirit with a splash of bourbon. Mm. I don't love this. It's the maple. It's definitely different. It's a very light colored bar compared to like... Anyway. Yeah, it's not my favorite. But who knows when it melts. It might change. But right now, it's definitely like a really rich maple apple scent. So we shall see. Next, we have Autumn Hearth. I have two bars of Autumn Hearth. Cue up a classic. Apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about the fall. And I really like this. I've had this before. The tonka bean mixed with the cinnamon is a really unique twist on fall, which I really appreciate. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, love. This is yummy. And I cannot wait to melt this again. This is total classic fall. Apples, cinnamon, rich, creamy vanilla. Really good. Next, we have apple cherry strudel. This is another really great scent. 
And this guy reads, Granny Smith apples, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. Now, just like everybody else says, it's a great scent. It's strong, but once it's gone, it's gone. But for me, I'm going to melt this in my bedroom. I have really great luck with scents in my bedroom. So I'm hoping that this one, oh, well, that's interesting. I popped out the bar and like a little chunk from the middle fell out. Interesting. But yeah, it is. It's like an apple cherry bakery, which I really like. I like the blend of apple and cherry together. And I'm excited to, uh, let's see if I can get this back in the clam. Oh, perfect. Boom. And then last, uh, not last of the twos around the campfire. This is another classic. This is like a smoky marshmallowy scent. So this guy says, make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. Oh yeah, this is a smoky, rich fire scent. And actually, oh, so good. A little bit like Marshmallow Fire said from Bath & Body Works, but very less marshmallow. Like super low marshmallow. But still really yummy. Really smoky and toasty. Rich and warm. Really excited. I picked up one singular Palo Santo and cinnamon because I already have one from the new kit. And I was excited to melt it. But I wanted to do it in the open space, so I picked up another one. Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. And I was excited for this one for the main reason. It smells like my grandfather's um, aftershave that he used, and it still smells like that to me. So excited for that. From the Harvest Collection, I did pick up three. One for my friend, and then... Two for me, Disney's Frightfully Delightful Bar. So I did pick up three of these. I did a licensed three pack and saved a dollar. And this is Extraordinary Golden Pumpkin Illuminated with Bright Harvest Peach and Delightful Touches of Whipped Vanilla and Brown Sugar Delivers the Thrills of the Season. So excited to try this one. Oh my God. I love this. Oh, I love this. Peaches and pumpkins is such an interesting combination. And was it a Yankee candle from a couple years ago that was a peaches and pumpkins? I literally have my laptop here. Yankee candle peach pumpkin. I swear it was. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, oh my gosh. It was Gold Canyon. Do you remember Gold Canyon candles? Gold Canyon Peach Pumpkin. Yep, that's it. Peaches and Pumpkins from Gold Canyon. That is the scent. Totally. That is the scent that I'm smelling. I thought that was so interesting. Gold Canyon is now out of business, but they had such unique fragrances. And when I saw the Peaches and Pumpkins candle, I fell in love with it, and then they went out of business. That's why this is so nostalgic to me. If you've ever smelled the peaches and pumpkins candle from Gold Canyon Candle, this is it. Oh, this is going in my club. And I rarely put licensed bars in my club because it's extra money. And I don't always find that the Disney scents throw as well or have as unique of fragrances. But this is so good. I have to have this. Oh, my gosh. I love. I'm so excited. Peaches and pumpkins. Wow. I do have the pink awareness, breast cancer awareness four pack bar early access, but these aren't launching till October 1st. So I'm going to film my video on my first sniffs and impressions on this later. I have the Disney season of magic bar as well as the five new Christmas fragrances launching in the holiday collection. But I'm going to save those because the video is long already for a separate video to come with the bag. I also picked up an Autumn Road Trip Counter Clean. I love the counter cleaners and I love the scent Autumn Road Trip. Excited to see it back in the counter clean. I got the Sunflower Fragrance Flower in Fall Into Love. They are coming in separate boxes now. These are beautiful. They did sell out really fast. I don't want to open the box because it's all boxed up, but they did sell out super, super fast and they will be restocked towards the end of the month. In the holiday collection, the poinsettias will be launching on October 1st. 
I think those will sell out just as fast, if not quicker, because of holidays. So definitely pick those up. And last but not least for this massive haul, I got Pumpkin Roll. For the first time in a long time, Sensi has added bricks to the, to the catalog that you can purchase all catalog season long. How exciting is that? It's been so long. You have your choice of Christmas Cottage, Very Snowy Spruce, and Pumpkin Roll. I will be picking up those other two because I love those fragrances, but Pumpkin Roll, perfect for this time of year. And if you have not used a brick, they are five and a half times the size of a Scentsy bar. This is a bar. This is a brick. They are massive. And let me tell you, Pumpkin Roll... Oh, she's fresh. So good. Sweet pumpkin, cream cheese frosting, and cake. Yum, delicious, decadent. Have got to have it all the time. This is yummy. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is going to sit for a little bit, and on a really nice cold fall day, this is going in my warmers when I have the windows cracked open and I can just enjoy in my PJs. So super excited to have a pumpkin roll brick back. And these are $24. So again, really excited. Now, if you're like, that's a lot of wax, you can purchase the bar size of pumpkin roll and add the bar to your club. But for individual purchase, you can get the giant pumpkin roll brick. So really excited for that. Whew. That was a lot of rambling. That was a lot of sharing. Let me know if you're one of my customers, did you get your Harvest Collection order yet? If you're not one of my customers, if you're a consultant, let me know what you were most excited about this Harvest Collection. I can't even decide what I'm most excited about. Honestly, as I thought it wouldn't be, this bar, frightfully delightful. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited. And I love my jack-o'-lantern. I love the jack-o'-lantern warmer. I love the forest light warmer. I love the harvest. I love the warmers. Warmers are always my favorite. So I will leave my Sensi link down below. Definitely shop with my party. It's my own personal shopping link. If you want me to make you a personal shopping link so you can get free and half price items too, let me know down below. I love my Sensi life. So many great things that we have coming through the pipeline. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube, and I will talk to you guys soon. Be kind and love everyone. Bye.